Hey, how you doing? Got a little bit of prairie gold on the farm today. Old Minneapolis Moline five star propane. Yeah, neat old tractors. Putting some new new shoe leather on them. Different tires. Trying to wait for this one to push the rest of the way up on the rim. Weather kind of chilly. Tires are cold. It's gonna take a little bit to push up on there, I guess. Yeah, the old Moline's always liked Moline's. I had an uncle. He was a Moline man. That's all he farmed with. He had a Jet Star, and a Z, and shucks, I can't even remember <laughs> some of the others. He had a, a larger one. I don't know if it was a a U or UB. Don't know for sure. And uh, my dad would borrow when we filled the silo, which is right behind us here. But the old five-star 1957 model. Like I say, it's a propane. They make a real good running machine. Don't have to worry about the gas uh, going stale or anything. Makes it nice. We had repainted this for him. Uh, it belongs to a I guess it's a county uh, park uh, Kinder Farm Park and they uh, have several different old tractors up there they give hay rides and stuff and have on display anyhow we got this one running good and painted it for them several years ago and uh, they wanted some new rubber towers on there so they're nice tractors. Always liked them. They were kind of—I wouldn't say they were exactly on the cutting edge of uh, technology, but I mean they had—they were big and I would—I would use the word clunky a little bit, um, but not in a bad way. I mean they were solid. They had. Uh, one good thing they had, they didn't have a TA like the uh, <clears throat> Farmalls. Well, they, well they, they did, but it was called an uh, Amplitorque. You pull the bar and uh, shifts down when you hit the tough spot or whatever. And um, pulls you through. So anyhow. It's a <laughs> kind of a unique design, the hood, the styling of it and everything. It's funny, this isn't much older than a 4010 John Deere would be. Matter of fact, I think they were still making these in the early 60s. I might be wrong on that, but somebody will correct me, I'm sure. But to look at this, yeah, the style just didn't have staying power like the hood style and uh, the styling I'll say of the uh, the new generation of the John Deere's of 3010 and 4010 they still look like modern tractors to me but to look at this you can tell this is a an antique sure enough big four cylinder 336 cubic inch four cylinder engine this one's got power steering and uh, they were pretty long stroke engines. You can tell by the height of that engine block. That's, they were pretty long stroke. It's almost like, and they got separate heads. Well, actually separate blocks. The block bolts on to the crankcase on these. And uh, they got two cylinders here, two cylinders there. And, uh, separate head too that bolt on it and uh, you can get different sized jugs and put on there what they call them different bores you can get some oversized ones and like I say it would it would turn about I don't know 1800 rpms that's all it needed I forget what the stroke is it's a pretty long stroke
got a couple of little oil seepings on it, but uh, it's hard to get them <laughs> where they don't leak a little bit. It is a mighty old, old farm tractor. I guess this is a power steering pump down there. And I don't know if you'd call it true power steering or power assist. I don't know which way you'd call it, but uh, this one of the wide front ones, obviously. So, just thought you might want to take a little look at it. Oh, this thing was kind of mashed up when they brought it here to be fixed up and painted. I was able to kind of hammer it out straight and uh, repainted the rascal for him. Because I, I guess you could get a replacement, uh, a new one that somebody would be making, but uh, it's always nice to have the originals. I think that looks pretty neat. They, they, for some reason, give their tractors names. This must be, they must call this one Marilyn. They got a G1000, I think they call Sophie or something like that. I don't know what they call the 705. But, uh, anyhow. Yes, sir. That's the prairie gold that we got down here. Catch you later. It's a <laughs> kind of a unique design, the hood, the styling of it and everything. It's funny, this isn't much older than a 4010 John Deere would be.